What's up, Fit Body Nation? So are you ready to rock and roll today? Um, don't know where my glasses are, but who cares? We're gonna get this thing done, even if I'm squinting the whole time, which hopefully I'm not. All right, so here's what you're gonna need today for this workout. You're gonna need a yoga mat. Get yourself a dumbbell or some type of weight because we will be doing a squat press with it. Um, and we're gonna pretty much just hit full body today. All right, so let's get ready and rock and roll with this thing. Okay, so I said you're only gonna need one dumbbell. I lied, you actually need two dumbbells. We're also gonna be doing chest presses in here. So with our warm up today, it's only gonna be two minutes. Don't need a whole lot, just loosen up. All right, hit the time, and I believe the beeper is on. I think I figured it out. Um, not sure, but I'm pretty sure that it's gonna beep today. All right, so we're gonna start with just some nice squats. Get our legs loosened up a little bit. That's what we're gonna be starting with on our workout today. So let's make sure we don't pull any muscles, don't get any cramps or anything like that. Good. Not a ton of cardio or anything in here today. Just really focusing on some toning, getting some ab work in, getting some legs, some chest, some upper body, some back, kind of everything, all right? So let's go ahead, let's take it into a side lunge. Nice and low, right back to center. Nice and low. Right back to center. We'll do three or four reps on both sides. Good. All right, let's go ahead. Side lunge off to the other side. Get nice and low with it, really stretch. Especially in the inner groin area, you want to stretch that out a little bit. Or we don't pull anything. Good. Now, let's take it into some jumping jacks. Here we go. So if you like my nice uh, bright blue pants, I found these. Actually, uh, a good friend of mine bought them for me. I think a couple years ago, and I never really wore them. I'm not a huge fan of the color blue. So I put them up and forgot about them. I was cleaning out a drawer and I found them. I figured, why not? Let's, let's rock them. So they're warm and it's cold out here where I'm working out. So figured it couldn't, it couldn't hurt anything. All right, let's take it into some high knees. We've got about 30 seconds left. There we go, good. Let's crank it out on this one. Perfect. Gonna get it done, we're gonna make it happen. Okay, so after we get through the warm up, we'll be resting for a few seconds, and I'll tell you what we're doing. Excellent, 13 seconds. All right, good. Stretch it out over the side, get the obliques loose. Oh, side rotation, side rotation. Three, two, one, and relax. Well, I said there was a beep, and I totally lied. There's not a beep. At least I didn't hear it if there was. Okay, so here's what we're going to be doing. We've got squat press or squats that we're going to start off with. So a body weight squat. Then we're going to do a squat press, which you'll need one dumbbell for. Then we're going to do a split lunge, and then we're going to do a squat hold. Four exercises, each one will be for 30 seconds, and we're going to do three rounds on it, okay? After we finish our three rounds, we'll rest a minute, and we'll go to the second set. And then we'll do the exact same thing, different exercises, different muscle groups, and then we'll go to our third and final set, okay? All right, so 19 seconds. Make sure you have some water close. That way you can grab it in between. All right, you ready for this? We got 10 seconds till we start. Starting with our squats, I'm gonna keep my hands crossed up on my shoulders. So I want you to do the same thing. Feet at shoulder width. Nope, no beep. I'm just gonna have to pay real close attention to the time. That's hilarious. I could have sworn I had the thing set to beep. I could have uh, like double sworn. I would have put money on it even because I checked it and I double checked it and it worked before this workout started. It was beeping and talking and everything else. So who knows what's wrong with it. I think the app just does what it wants. All right, six seconds left. Here we go. Good. Three seconds. Now grab a dumbbell. We're going to go into squat press. So keep your weight pretty close to you because there's not any time to transition in between on this one, but I figure a good body toner would be good to start our Monday off, because we did go pretty hard last week. I mean, with our cardio and all that stuff, we had some pretty tough workouts in there, so we won't be slowing it down this week, but I figured for Monday, let's get some just basic toning exercises in. And drop the weight down, split lunges. Good, so this one, Switch the feet in the air if you can. If you can't, do a reverse lunge. There we go, good. Switching those feet, looking good. 
We got 16 seconds on this. The next one we're going into is a squat hold or a wall sit. Since I'm close to a wall, I'm gonna do a wall sit. Good. In the past, I've never had a wall. I've always been outside, so I've always done squat holds. Okay, drop it down. So if you're doing a wall sit, keep your hands off your hips. That way you can't rest them there, okay? Whew, you can also keep them overhead if you want. If you're doing a squat hold, make sure you're nice and low. Do not bend forward and don't put your hands on your thighs. Eight seconds. Slow your breathing down. In three, two, one. All right, that's funny, that thing's not beeping. Funny to me. All right, we got 30 seconds to rest. That's a good thing about these intervals. We do have rest in between them, okay? We're gonna go be, be going back to our squats next. 15 seconds till we start. Whoo, I'm already feeling winded. We haven't even done anything. Okay, eight seconds. Back to squats. In three, two, one. Good, just keep those hands crossed. I want you to get nice and low with your squat. Perfect, that's it. Keep the weight on those heels. Very good, we got about 21 seconds left on this. You're gonna make it through. Here we go, perfect. So less than 10 seconds as of right now. Keep working. From this, we're going to our squat press. So make sure your dumbbell's close so you can grab it quickly. And go ahead, grab your dumbbell. Squat press, nice and low. When you go down with your squat, try to touch your elbows and your knees together. That's pretty much how low you need to get with your squat. But make sure the weight is staying on your heels, okay? You wanna keep your body weight on your heels, never on your toes. That way it doesn't hurt your knees, okay? Good. We got split lunges coming up. Two, and set the weight down. Split lunge, switch those feet in the air. Now this one is legs, but it's also cardio, okay? Good, but like I said, if you can't do the split lunge yet, do a reverse lunge. Almost there, we got wall sits next. That's it, keep it up, 10 seconds. Come on, keep moving with me here. We got this. We got about five seconds. Just messed my yoga mat up. And drop it down. Wall sit, okay. That's how I know I'm not getting my feet off the ground. They're dragging on that yoga mat. Whew, gotta pay attention, get my feet higher. Can't be slacking. All right, 15 seconds left on the wall sit. And you can make wall sits or squat holds all kinds of harder, but we're gonna keep this one pretty basic today. Like I said, I'm not trying to kill you on this Monday. So, relax, 30 seconds. All right, gonna straighten my yoga mat out. Now we got 30 seconds to rest in between. We got one more round coming up with the squats, and that'll be it for our legs. And then we're gonna be going to upper body next, okay? All right, slow your breathing down. Whew, mine's a little bit faster than it should be. Good. That's it. All right, we got about five seconds. In three, two, one, cross those arms. Right back into bodyweight squats. Nice and low. Doesn't have to be crazy fast, but definitely nice and low. Good, here we go. You got it, let's keep it up. Very good, 14 seconds and counting. So I know last week, at the end of the week, I was telling you about my, my epic freaking thing that I was about to do. Almost got it all done, not quite. I was definitely overzealous. Grab your dumbbell, squat press. But I got most of it done. It took a lot of work, and I still have a lot of work left with it. But when it is done, I'll let you know what it is. It's gonna be awesome. It's already awesome. Just not, not completely there yet. All right, which is probably why I'm feeling kind of tired today. <laughs> I, didn't have a, I didn't have any time to recover over the weekend. Five seconds left. Good. Two, one. Now, split lunges. Switch those feet in the air. All right, I'm gonna try to remember, keep my feet up and not slack off. That way I don't catch the yoga mat again and mess up my reps. Good. 
There we go. Weight on those heels, popping the feet up. Got 10 seconds. Keep a good pace on this, not too fast, not too slow. There we go. Three, two, one, wall sit. Okay, so this is the last one on this, and then we get our, our minute of rest. So we're almost there. Man, these pants are hot. I think they're just made out of like solid cotton. They're not, they're not your typical sweatpants, but they're definitely warm and thick and heavy. <laughs> they add some resistance. All right, 10 seconds. Good. Stay low, back flat. Four seconds. Two, one. Right when the legs started to shake a little. Perfect time. Okay, we got one minute. So we're gonna breathe on this. The next ones we're going into, we're gonna start with a dumbbell press. Then we're gonna flip it over into dive bombers. If you can't do dive bombers, which is a style of push-up, you can do a regular wide push-up. Then we're doing renegade rows and we're doing bent over rows. Whoo, slow your breathing down. So I'm gonna put my dumbbells here. That way, actually I'm gonna move them back here. So get your dumbbells wherever you're comfortable with. I have like certain specific spots based on how I'm laying where I like my dumbbells. So that way I can transition a little bit faster in between. So, but with the first one, it's gonna be a dumbbell press. 10 seconds till we start. So go ahead, get on the mat, lay down, grab your dumbbells. All right, in position, here we go. So presses, 30 seconds on this. You wanna press the dumbbells all the way up, almost touch them together. You can if you want, it'll make that clinging sound, which is totally fine. Good, so keep pressing on this. The next one we'll be going into is a dive bomber, which means your butt actually is, starts in the air like a pipe push-up, and then you dive down and come back, all right? So I'll show you. All right, here we go, so up. Now, your butt needs to be in the air, you're gonna go down and then reverse that movement. They do this exercise in the Marines quite a bit. Good. Which is how I learned it being in the military. I was not in the Marines, but I did it in the military. Good. And then right back. Perfect. And I can tell you they don't call it dive bombers in the military. It is referred to as something else, but we can't say that on YouTube. All right. Now, next exercise, Renegade Row. So for this one, dumbbells shoulder width, you're gonna do a push-up, and then you're gonna row. You're gonna do a push-up and a row. Now, to transition between these exercises, it takes a little bit of time, so don't worry if you cut into the, the next exercise a little bit, it happens. You'll get faster with the second and third round once you know exactly what we're doing here. Good, almost there. We've got bit over rows coming up. Next, so up to your feet. All right, for this, you're rowing straight up, right back. Now keep your knees bent slightly. Good, pull the dumbbells up into your rib cage, and then right back down. Up into the rib cage, right back down. We're almost done with our first round here. We'll have two more rounds left. And then the final one, we're gonna be finishing up with some abs today. Five seconds left. Good, three, two, one, relax, 30 seconds, okay. So now that you know the exercises, which was a dumbbell press, the dive bomber, or a push-up if you can't do the dive bomber, renegade rows and bent over rows, get your dumbbells placed back to where you want them. All right, get some water if you need it. We got about 12 seconds till we start. So I'm gonna get back into position. In seven seconds, we're gonna be starting in five, four, three, two, one, here we go, starting with our presses. Up, down, up, down, up, down, you got it. Good, that's it. Perfect. So this time we're gonna try to go a little bit faster. I'm gonna try to transition a little bit faster as well. Obviously you gotta be careful though, setting your dumbbells down. You don't wanna smash your finger or a toe or break anything on somebody else either that's around you. So be careful when you set your weights down. Don't just throw them down. I see that happen all the time inside of gyms. And I've also seen people cut their fingers off doing that, not paying attention. So always know what's underneath you when you're setting your dumbbells down. Good. Don't just get crazy with it. 
All right, we got 15 seconds left. That's it. Keep working, get these dive bombers in if you can. Going down, and then reverse it. Coming back up, butt in the air. Good, and relax on that. Already forgot, renegade rows. So, push up, get the row in there. Push up, get the row in there. Perfect, push up with the row. Down, rowing it up into the side. 12 seconds. We're almost there. You're doing good. After this one, we've got our bent over rows. Standing up, up to your feet. So now head up, back flat, facing me. Pull the dumbbells up into your rib cage. And then right back down. Into the rib cage, right back down. Very good. Almost there. 17 seconds left. Then we've got one more round. Good. I think we're going to make it. We got nine seconds. Got about five seconds left. Three, two, one. Relax. Okay, so we got one more round. Go ahead and get your dumbbells set back to where you want them. So that way you can just start into the next round. I'm getting some water here or tea. Whew. I'm breathing on this one. I'm definitely breathing. Breathing hard. Okay, 10 seconds. Go ahead and lay back down. All right. In position. We're ready for this. In three, two, one. Here we go. Good. So up, back down. Keep the presses going. Nice and controlled. That's it. You got it. Let's move with it. Keep rocking. Come on. Perfect. 15 seconds left. Let's get some reps out on this one. Because once we finish upper body, we'll be done with upper body for today. And then we'll be finishing up with our abs. So let's make this last one count. I know it's tough, but you can do it. And flip it over. Pipe push ups. So start with the butt in the air, going down, and then reverse it. Butt in the air, down, and reverse it. Now this one hits chest, triceps, and shoulders. It definitely hits everything. And it's not easy, but you can do it. And if you can't, do a push-up. And over time, you'll be able to do it. Good. Five seconds. Almost there. Renegade rows are next. And renegade rows. Whew. Definitely not transitioning as fast as I need to. All right, so push-up with a row. Push-up with a row. Good. There we go. I think we're going to make it on this one today. We've got about 10 seconds left. Keep those push-ups and rows going. Don't worry about the time. I'll tell you when we're there. You don't even need to look. Two, one, up to your feet. All right, bit over rows. Here we go. So, both dumbbells up at the same time. Right back down in control. Up at the same time. Right back down in control. Very good. We got it, come on, keep moving. We got 14 seconds left. Almost there. It's only a 23, 24 minute workout, so I know you can do this. Good, three seconds, two, one, and relax, we got one minute. Now, I believe we're done with our dumbbells. Yeah, we are, so I'm gonna move. I'm gonna slide mine out of the way. Don't really need them anymore. So I'm gonna get them out of the way so I don't get my fingers or hand or anything caught up on them. Okay, so our next four exercises, get some water while I talk. We're gonna do jackknife on the left leg, which is a jackknife crunch. Then we're gonna do flutter ups. Then we're doing a V spread crunch, which will be flat for that one. And then we're doing a jackknife on the right leg. All these are, I'd say intermediate level ab exercises. Nothing too difficult. The flutter ups might give you a little bit of a hard time. And if you can't do those, just do a regular flutter kick. Okay? I'm gonna tilt my workout log up so I can read it. We got about eight seconds till we start. We got jack, knife, left. I'm gonna start on the right so you can see me. So here's how we do this one. So legs straight and you crunch the upper body into it. Now I have my fingers behind my ears. That way I'm not tempted to pull on my neck when I get tired, okay? 
You don't want to do that. You don't have to go super fast on this. Bring that leg up. This works the love handles and the obliques, all right? So that side right there, where that muffin top is, that's what we're hitting right now. Two, one. On your back, flutter up. So start with a small flutter kick. And then once you've got that movement down, you can go up, and then you can go right back down. Then you can go up and right back down. Good. If you can't do the up and down part with it, just do a flutter kick. There we go. Good. Almost there. V-spread crunches next. And that one, you'll be flat on your back. It's not too bad, actually. Okay, and relax the legs, spread them wide, and you're reaching right to the center of your body, making sure your shoulder blades are coming off the ground fully, okay? All the way off the ground. Reach forward. Good. That's it. Keep those hands interlaced. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We got eight seconds. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Now, jackknife on the opposite side. All right. Whew. So here we go. It's coming up. Keep that hand behind your ear. That way you don't pull on your neck. You want to try to touch your elbow to your thigh. That's a pretty good meeting place to get that full side crunch in there. Bringing the upper body up along with the leg. We've got six seconds left on this. Then the first round will be done. Three, two, one, relax. Okay, so the first round, I'll be always the sloppiest round, but you can see what we're doing. So we've got it figured out. So now we got two more rounds. So let's pick up our pace a little bit with this one. A little bit cleaner reps, and let's try to transition a little bit faster as well. All right, starting back with our jackknives. I'm gonna start on my right side. You can start on whatever side is easiest for you to get to. Okay, here we go. Fingers behind the ears and jackknife crunch. Let's do this thing. Good. So bringing it up, touch that elbow and thigh together. Very good. Come on, let's work. We got 18 seconds left. 15 seconds. You're gonna make it. Just keep moving on it. We got about 10 seconds. Come on, you can do it. From this one, we're going into our flutter ups, which are coming up in three seconds. And on your back, here we go. So start with the flutter kick. Once you've got that down, then take it into the flutter ups. Now, I like to keep my hands on my stomach for this, but you can keep them on your stomach, you can keep them down to the side. You can sit on them if you need to. Good. Whatever is comfortable for you. Because this one is a pretty difficult one, it's not easy. Anytime you gotta lift your legs off the ground, it engages the back along with the thighs and the lower abs. So it's not easy by any means because those three muscles are usually weaker on the human body. All right, so V-spread crunch, I already forgot. Legs wide, reaching in between them. There we go. Good. All right, we got this, come on. We got 17 seconds and counting. Almost there. Very good. A few more seconds, about 10 more seconds. That's it, you got it, don't stop. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, switch it around. Other side. Okay, let's do this thing. So up, back down, good. All right, come on, we can do this. Now we gotta work hard these next few weeks. We've got the holidays coming up. At least if you're watching the channel and you're here in the US, I know several of you are in different parts of the world, you may not have the same holidays. But here we've got Thanksgiving coming up, which we have a tendency to overindulge on. So keep it clean until that day. All right, now rest. So we've got one more round coming up. All right, last and final one for our Monday. And then throughout the rest of the week, we'll be picking our pace up, getting more and more difficult. And yes, we'll be doing a workout every day. Um, no excuses, not even for the Thanksgiving and holiday coming up. I'm going to be doing a workout still on those days, just like I would in my normal life, all right? So Jack Knight, here we go, let's we'll start it. I get to talking too much and forget to look at the time. That's why I like that audible beep to go off. And then when it doesn't, I sometimes have my ADD kick in and I get sidetracked. 17 seconds. 
Good. We've got 12 seconds and counting on this. Then we got our flutter ups. There we go. Eight seconds. Good. Keep moving. Four seconds. Two and one. Flip it over. Start with the flutter kicks. And then get that up and down motion going. So kick, 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 up and down. There we go. Nice controlled pace, not too insanely fast. I want you to be in good control of your movements. Even if they're slow, it's better to be in control of them than get really sloppy and fast. Good. Now that doesn't mean they have to be perfect though. Just in control. Three seconds. And, all right, legs spread wide, reach between. V-spread crunch is what this one's called. There's also a V-spread vertical crunch, which is where your feet are straight up in the air and you're doing the exact same movement. Whew, but we're not doing that one today. Not getting that crazy advanced with it today. We got 11 seconds left. We got about eight seconds. Keep moving, keep reaching. We've got one more with our jackknife crunch and transition over. Here we go. All right, so crunch it up. Just had something fly on me. I think it was part of the yoga mat. Okay, so try to touch the elbow to the thigh, middle of the thigh there. Good. That gets you off the ground about three inches, which is just enough for those obliques. Good. We got seven seconds. Last few right here, come on. Count it down with me. Four, three, two, one, and that's it, Fit Body Nation. We finished off our Monday, all right? So we wrapped it up, we killed it, got it in the books. Tomorrow's workout's gonna be a little bit harder. Like I said, I didn't wanna absolutely kill you on this Monday uh, because we went pretty hard last week. Keep rocking, I love you guys, subscribe. Be back here tomorrow because we're gonna have an awesome one.